the Buddha pants dance! We are Shelby and Woody. We met in 2015 and immediately discovered our shared passion for travel and adventure. We've cruised the Bahamas, rode a train through Alaska, and even got engaged in Hawaii. After stumbling upon a van life video on YouTube, we loved the idea but considered it a pipe dream. Four by four sprinter van, and unfortunately it's sold. Well, as you can see, with a lot of hard work and perseverance, that pipe dream is becoming a reality. What came today? Please consider subscribing so you can follow along on our journey while we build out a van, travel the world, and encompass adventure. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi. Today we are driving up to the Uintas in the Wasatch Cache National Forest. And we're taking the van on not our first camp trip, but our first camp trip with power and all the walls up. And yeah, we're about... Oh, Jerogo! Gross! That was nasty! We're about halfway there and we just drove through Park City, Utah, which is also a beautiful place. And we're really excited to give this a shot. This is also the first time that we've driven in the van with the dogs out of their kennels. There's Drogo, and there's Ollie. Hi, sweetie. Drogo's drooling all over the place. It's so cute. It's just a new experience for them. Their kennel's back there. That's why the camera was going back there. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna go up into the Uinta National Forest, like what he was saying and camp out we um scouted out a spot yesterday and we set some tents up and it's right by the river so it should be pretty fun Well, we're here. We've got our makeshift bug net set up. And my beautiful wife is making something. Overnight oats. I put some rolled oats in here. And this is coconut milk yogurt. It's coconut, I mean, it's a yogurt alternative. It's actually pretty good. And then I got some nut milk. It's almond and cashew milk. Lots of protein. Lots and lots of protein. And I'll just pour that in here. And then um, to sweeten it, I put a little bit of a, what's that powder? Monk fruit extract. Monk fruit extract. Why do you like that stuff? Because it does not trigger a glycemic response in your body. And it's sweet. Well. And I try to eat ketogenic sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Our camp spot's pretty hot. Yeah. I'm going to give you guys a tour in just a second, right after I'm done with this. And can you please go shut the back door? Bugs are getting in. Yep. Are they... Are they bugging you? They're bugging me. Yeah. Yes. It is tour time. And our tour guide today is the beautiful Miss Shelby Manns. So over here, you'll see our van. Also, something fun that keeps happening. Um, this is supposed to be Ollivander from Harry Potter. Ollivander is the wand maker. And we're Ollivander's wanderers but people that aren't super familiar with Ollivander keep saying it stands for Olive and Drogo which is the name of our dogs and those guys are over here so oh sorry fun. you're the tour guide <laughs> where are the dogs babe the dogs are over here <laughs> there's Drogo blending in with the shade there's Olive off in the bushes Doing all of stuff. Holly, come here. Oh, um, see. Someone built a crazy fire pit right here. It's like a chimney. Fire a pit chimney. in the front. Yeah. I didn't realize that before. Chimney in the back. That's pretty cool. And then you can come back here. This is my favorite part. 
rocks on the sides. We have the river, which we made a little fridge in for our vodka, champagne, and what is that? A bay leaf vodka? Yep. Pro tip. Most of you probably already know this, but if you have a river nearby and it's cool water, which it most likely is, just put your cooler or your drink in there and obviously put rocks around it so it doesn't go away and it keeps your stuff cold. <clears throat> Let's show them uh, lounge rock. Uh, lounge, lounge rock. <laughs> what are you doing? Lounge. It's actually, spot. yeah, it's actually pretty deep right here. I'm sure we'll show you at some point. And, yeah, <laughs> you can, there's a little pathway right there that comes down to that rock. And this is all kind of pretty deep. We brought our swimsuits. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get in. Woody probably will because he always does. It's my favorite. It's crisp. It's good for the muscles. It is cold. It's also cold pretty quickly, so... Our dog, Olive, loves the water, so I'm sure you'll see her in the river at some point. Happy as can be. I'm still a kid, trying to act like they all taught me. But nothing makes sense anymore. Woody and I are both wearing our Buddha pants. Where'd you go? Oh. Um, oh wait, that's not good. Sorry. Buddha pants. Buddha pants. Ooh, let's do the Buddha pants dance. The Buddha pants dance. And the sun's going down behind that mountain. It's right there. So pretty soon this is gonna be fully shaded. We're already in the shade. What did you call it? The shadow of the mountain. The shadow of the mountain. I think it's dinner time. What do you think? Yeah. I'm hungry. Want to show them what we got for dinner? Yeah. It's from the Fernway Food Company. Mushroom pot pie dehydrated adventure meal. 580 calories and 14 grams of protein. Put in a pouch. Made in Portland, Oregon. So we actually found out about this food company from the Van Wives YouTube channel and they had a discount code and I'm always looking for cool stuff like this. First of all, support small businesses. And second of all, it's healthy. It's all natural. And it's plant-based. I am a pescatarian, which means I only eat fish and seafood. I don't eat um, any other meat. And I try to avoid dairy when I can. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. So that's what's inside of it. Those are the biscuits, and I think those are mushrooms. It says to stir it really well. And like all adventure meals, close the pouch for 18 to 20 minutes. It's 708. I can't wait. They smell so good. Yeah, they do. Here you go, babe. Thank you. You mean, mmm. Mmm. Thanks, Thanks, babe. <laughs> All right. Wanted to get our honest reactions of trying it. Probably let it sit for a little bit too long. But yeah. We did use the right amount of water. My nice biscuit's and... all soggy. No. Bummer. Mm. Is it Pops good? Like the best backpacking meal you've ever had? It's pretty high up there, yeah. I've had some really good ones, but this is Crap. really good. Wow. Rated on a scale. 10 being the best. I would say it's a good 9.5. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty tight. I had one meal that was a... Uh, 
yellow curry. Oh yeah, I remember that. That one was really good too, but this is right up there with that. I feel like if we hadn't let it sit for so long, like the biscuits are just kind of mushy. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want it to fall out. But there's like carrots and mushrooms and deliciousness. Mm. It's really yummy. Mm -hmm. Good job, Fernway. We're impressed. Now I want to try your other meals. They have desserts too. It's compost, compostable packaging. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's something I didn't mention. The packaging is compostable and you get a compostable and you can actually get a package like a reusable pouch if you don't want compostable packaging you can get it it comes in like a fabric pouch and it's reusable which is awesome this is really good i'm bummed we let it sit too long i don't think i don't think we did so it's not that we left the water in too long woody was just reading the back and it says, remove the biscuits and add them in the last five minutes for a crunchy pie crust topping. We left them in there the whole time so they kind of got soggy and disintegrated. That being said, it's still really good. It's so good. And now, we're gonna have to buy more so we can cook it the right way. Yeah, my only regret is not bringing two. Because I'm going to smash this. And want more. And I'll be full, but I want to smash another one. <laughs> There's just so much flavor in it. like Seasoned really well. Yeah. Oh, I can't describe it. It's so good. One more thing that I wanted to say about this is that we are not spo sponsored by Fernway. While we aren't sponsored by Fernway, we were able to snag an awesome discount code. If you're wanting to try out their delicious food, head over to their website and enter code ENCOMPASS for 10% off. Happy eating! But we will be return customers. Woody's favorite thing to do camping is to man the fire. He loves chopping the wood. He loves making the... What style do you use? Oh, I do TP to start it and log cabin to keep it going. So log cabin does a really good heat. We'll show you what he means by that. I got this nice fireside friend splitting tool. It's only a four pound hatchet. But it splits logs really well. Oh, I missed it. That's wood really good. I like to organize it, so I do starter wood, medium sized pieces that I'll get it to catch, and then the larger ones that I end up building a log cabin out of. Usually for a pretty decent fire, I do like eight to 10 big pieces and then just some medium ones to make some of keep going. So. We've gone camping. Some stuff. We've gone camping together dozens of times and I never knew that about you. I mean, I knew you loved the fire and the teepee log cabin, but separating the wood? You're a smart one, babe. Woody had a great idea to take the drone out. It's usually way too windy because we got the DGA, DGI Mavic Mini and so it's really light. And if there's any sort of wind, then it's really hard to take it up. The summer night has just begun. Let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna Cheers, man. Gah! The mosquitoes! I hate They're them. Everywhere. They like Shelby more than they like me. Yeah, I've been told or read or something that mosquitoes are actually attracted to certain types of blood types. If that's true, let me know in the comments below. And if it's not, still let me know. <laughs> they won't leave me alone. We gotta get you a bubble. No, I need, no, you need the bubble. Oh, 
Right. You just need the netting that goes all over. Yeah, I just need a bug net that covers my entire body. We came in the van to escape from the mosquitoes. And we are eating extreme sour chewy sweet tarts. How many did you just put in your mouth? Four. Four? There's a lot. <laughs> Zero out of 10 recommend. <laughs> also, our sweet drove we got bit by lots of mosquitoes. You see all those bumps? Those are mosquito bites. And he's got them down here, he's got them on his head, behind his ear. I'm sorry, bud. We'll protect you from those awful, stupid mosquitoes with our bug net, which is working great because we can still enjoy the outside from inside. Huh, bud? I spy with my little eye something very cute. Daddy and Drogues. Drogo, are you cuddling with Daddy? What's Bummy doing? It's your favorite thing to do, huh? What a great view. And we can hear the sound of the river and it's so peaceful. We're just making the best of tonight, huh babe? Yeah, we are. We have our chips and salsa here. And we're gonna watch a movie. We got this cute little projector. Yep. And we're gonna project it onto the ceiling. The View Sonic Lamp Free Pocket Cinema M series. And we didn't get the smart one because it's way more expensive. But this is great. I mean, it's super yeah, bright. Yeah, the I'm colors really are really surprised. nice. I'm adjust the keystone. We're just projecting it onto our ceiling, but we thought about putting a sheet up and projecting it here. We could project it over there. We got the screen door open still. This is good, babe. This is nice, huh? Mm hmm I said... This is nice. This is good, babe. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Your teeth look so white. Ooh. This is a really great projector. Again, not sponsored. I just want to share with you guys what we're using and it looks really cool. Look at the colors. And it's pretty clear too. Well, we got up to brush our teeth and we're gonna close this door, finish the movie and go to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. It's 6.03 in the morning and the dogs woke us up because they needed to go to the bathroom. So Allegedly. We... No, they went. I know. So we took them out and Drogo keeps coming over and putting his head right here. Huh, Drogues? It's really dark so you can't oh, see. Can you... Let's turn the light on. Um, oh. He keeps doing that because he wants to get on the bed. But there's no room for a big puppers up here, bud. Ooh. Is life so hard when you're in Trunko? Hi, sweetie. Hi, Ollie. No, dad. Life, life is rough. <laughs> get it? Rough? Because that's what... Never mind. It's way too early for that. Okay. Let's try to go back to sleep. No. I can't. Why? Because oh, the yeah, sun's okay. out and... My hair... It's nice. Well, I'm gonna try to go back to sleep, so. Um. <sighs> okay, it's a couple hours later. My eyes are so heavy still. Oh, I need to get up. What he's been up for like an hour. Making a fire. It's eight. 24. Sounds like he's boiling water to make some coffee. I need coffee. Look how cute he is, though.
He's over there with his coffee and olive. You guys want to see something cool? Bam. Look at that. Okay, it's time to get ready. Good morning. It is now 8.50. I've been up for about an hour and a half. Well, I've been up for like five hours because of the dogs. It is beautiful out today, as you can see. Nice and beautiful. I also took the liberty of making myself a fire this morning. Help keep the mosquitoes away. It was a little chilly earlier, now it's starting to warm up just fine. But yeah, and I made some coffee and mimosa, my favorite part of camping. Oh wow, cool. I like using these uh, hammock straps to haul wood. Woody's over here trying to fish the river. I'm not using the right equipment, but I just want to see how it goes. Drogo, you can't bump the camera like that. Look at this gnarly spider's nest I found. It's huge. Oh, I don't even want to know what's in there. Well, we hope you guys like following along on our camp trip. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Come on. Drogues, why do you always cry? Say hi. Strong dog whines at the wind. I'm thinking that I don't wanna